Hi, my name is Sean Beasley. Thanks for tuning in again to another DigiNins How-Tos. This one is about OTRS and the search feature. In the OTRS 3.1 and 3.0 series, we've changed the search to an Ajax pop-up. And per default, the only attribute that you will have selected is the full text attribute. Now, this is generally okay, but uh, it can be that you, uh, yeah, have a lot of tickets and you don't want to just run a full text, you want to run other things and you don't always want to have to um, select one of these attributes uh, manually before you start your search. Additionally, it's important to know that you cannot search for a ticket number in the full text search. This can be confusing. Now, um, in order to do this, there is a sysconfig option where you can predefine which of these search fields should be available to all users at the same time. In the admin section, if you go to sysconfig and you search for search, you'll find the subgroup option front end agent ticket view search. By clicking on this option and scrolling down, you'll start to see where the options become available ticket front end agent ticket search defaults ticket number. So if we for example want to just have our ticket number we can activate that and deactivate the full text search. We can just click in any of these fields and hit enter. We don't have to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Once this screen has refreshed we can then go back into our search field and we will see that the default has changed and now you have just ticket number available. Additionally, you can create individual search profiles. For example, if I also wanted to have a full text search, and I always wanted to search for tickets in 2012, then I can search for those here by creating a new, and I can say search full 2012. Then when I add this and I run my search, it'll automatically be saved. So here I see I have two tickets that meet the criteria. Ticket number 2012 with the regular expression of star. It's not really a regular expression, uh, but it means anything else after. Anything else that comes after 2012 is, is valid. And uh, I'll get a return on all these tickets. Now when I return to the search box, I can always search this 2012 and then I can add full text to it. For example, I can uh, add the term SLA. And then, well, I guess I have SLA in both of these. So if I look into it, we'll see that I don't have any um, real tickets that I can use real examples, but you could refine this search then. Sure, I can use this one. Ticket is closed. This throws errors if you just try and use the back button. That's uh, yeah, a historical problem, but it's not really that big of a problem in that case. So we'll search for the text DD, for example, to refine our search. And then we should return with only one result. But as you can see, each time you go in, uh, you have to pull up your search template and then modify the data. So that can be annoying depending on if you have like standard default fields that you always want to be available. And don't worry about having a field that's not being filled with data. Uh, it'll just be ignored as you see here. Um, what you can then do at a later date is you can go back into the sysconfig you can search for toolbar and then you can add the search into the toolbar itself by scrolling down here and clicking on search profile. You can also add a text full search for example ticket full text search right into the front end. We'll go ahead and do that so you can see how that looks. One of the drawbacks about having this search bar, search 
toolbar is that it will automatically start the search for you so if you don't have a chance to refine it but what you can do then is click on search options and then go in and refine your search getting then the results that you're looking for if at any time you want to change one of these search engines go into change search options or via the search link you can choose the search template and then you can select to save the changes here and then click run search see I get no options now if I were to run this search again I would still get no options because when I look at the change search options I see that the search options has been modified so I hope this has been informative for you and that you now know a little bit more about using the search function. We'll do some more va videos later with advanced search functions using the um, extended uh, search options. But for right now, this is just a general overview. Thank you for watching.